helping me celebrate uh, this wonderful occasion. Thank you. Um, I'm, uh, I'm actually standing uh, in my favorite place on planet Earth. This is where I grew up, right out here. And uh, I cherish it, I love it, I care for it. You saw me paint mangroves about it, and now you're seeing me paint its sea grasses. I care a lot about it, and through my art, I want all of us to care a lot about it too. So, as I was looking at what to do, I reached out to Theo, who will talk to you in a second. She runs this nature center. Uh, a center that's essential for teaching our community about the importance of its ecosystems, about what happens right there on that water's edge. Doing so with students on a regular basis, that's the room you wear at upstairs. And by bringing artists to try to convey, to depict, to communicate the importance of our role in coexisting with nature. It just happens to be that there is something that's about 10 years younger than I am called the Biscayne Bay, or the Biscayne uh, Bay Aquatic Preserves. And their role is to regulate the bay, to ensure that we grow in a way that respects those ecosystems. So if you're digging a canal to have bigger ships, to big, bring more products from the Panama Canal that you're gonna use and throw away in two years, and in so doing, you're gonna destroy our corals, there's a group that sits there and tries to see how much the water's being destroyed and how much these ecosystems are being destroyed. Now they may not be doing everything they can do, and that has a lot to do with you, the voters, and what they do, and what they bring to Tallahassee. So my job as an artist is to try to raise awareness, have people fall in love with nature, and in so doing, enact policies through their elected leaders that care for nature. And I know it's really tough for me to make you fall in love with seagrass, so I'm trying to make you fall in love with something that lives in the seagrass called a seahorse. And today, as I turn 50, I would like to induct each and every one of you into the Seahorse Society. And as members of the Seahorse Society, your job is to care about the seahorse's habitat, whether you're facing north, east, west, or south on Biscayne Bay. I want you to protect it from propellers scarring the seagrass. As you're driving your cars, I want you to protect it from the runoff that falls into that bay and pollutes it and kills it. As you're expanding your carbon footprint, I want you to understand that the sea level is going to mess it up and destroy the life that's responsible for every grouper that you care about. Everything that lives in the deep blue sea has its essence, has its beginnings right here. And unless nature centers like this and regulatory boards like that can count on a team of people like you, it doesn't matter that I live 50 years because what's coming after us is really gonna suck. So as I turn 50 and I start focusing on what life is about and what's important, this is important, this matters, and this is my birthday gift to each of you. So as you leave here today, you're gonna get a bag, with that poster, and a t-shirt, and things to do to protect this game bay. And my hope is that every time you see that poster or that t-shirt, you remember there's 40 things you can do to protect Biscayne Bay, and you as sworn members of the Seahorse Society will do your part to tell others about it. So this is uh, our way of celebrating 40 and 50. Thank you so much. Yeah.